To emergency intercom. I was gonna do like welcome to this episode of. You didn't. You obviously didn't pick up on that vibe. Yeah, I didn't pick up what you were putting down. I didn't smell what you were pooping out. Why did we find love in a vibeless place? I think we found love in like a hellscape. <laughs> Way. As I'm saying, a hellscape is a vibeless place. It's a vibeless place to be, if you ask me. Girl, if Lana Del Rey said we found love in a hellscape, I would have busted a nut and s- <laughs> literally busted a nut and slipped in it and broke my skull. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one time I was talking about a crush I had on like a celebrity, and I just went on the craziest, nastiest. I was like, if they fucking squirt, I would only be so lucky to like be running down the hallway and like slip in it and get a concussion and wake up in a hospital bed. And like, the only thing they could give me is IV fluid of their squirt to like bring me back to life. <laughs> it's like fucking crazy. <laughs> And that was um, all up top of Dome. But we were just in our separate environments just now. And I was like on TikTok while they were setting up in here. Or I don't know what the fuck y'all were doing in here. I heard weird sounds. But anyways, <laughs> I was scrolling on TikTok. And I heard or I found this uh, account that like makes t-shirts. The shirts are actually fucking sick. And I literally am going to buy one if she sells them or if they sell them. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but the basically what she does is she takes the shirts and she cuts up the letters of the shirts and like makes them into like different ones like there was a hello kitty one that said she made it say like i am a toilet and then she just like embro- <laughs> or sews it into the uh shirt yeah. it's really ill but oh my god why did i just say ill <laughs> you need to stop. why did i, I just, just say that up. that was it's weird. really ill that was weird nah, you're true. it's super true <laughs> no i've been true for real um ben trill <laughs> But she pulled out this baby onesie. It's a onesie for an infant that says lock up your daughters, baby gap 1989. Crazy fucking vibe. Dude, that's like such a common thing. They still sell those shirts. That's the crazy thing is we've gone so far in society, but we're still giving little baby boys lock up your daughters. Yeah. Your daughter's been a running fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> your daughter better fucking pray to God every night that my son doesn't go out her door. I'm gonna fucking kill your daughters. <laughs> like it's my to son be- is gonna kill your daughter. <laughs> to be so weird and dirty like oh he's so handsome yeah. he's gonna literally steal your fucking daughter away <laughs> and lock you. him up in the basement um uh, but yeah i had a i had a lock up i had a wow. lock up your daughter's shirt that i got from like walgreens forever ago and i remember i was doing a brand deal for this watch company and i was, was like, it daniel wellington <laughs> i think so. yeah oh dude my dead brother loved my daniel wellington watch <laughs> loved it um but oh, i no, actually got I, it back Really? Mm-hmm. Why? Because he died. Oh, okay, I wanted yeah. it back so bad for like years and he wouldn't give it back to me. And then so you did I won the in the end. <laughs> I won in the end. Well, actually, no, it was for a fucking glasses company. It was for Glasses USA. Oh. Um, but I had that shirt on and it's a picture of me like sitting at a table. But like you could see the shirt on, which I don't know why I thought. Uh, ew. Um, I'm shooting a brand deal. I should wear my lock up your daughter shirt. Like, I don't know why I thought that was going to slide. But they were like, can she retake this with a different shirt? And I was like, oh, you're so annoying. Oh, that, I know that boiled your blood because that would have pissed me the fuck off. I was like, these pictures eat. You're like literally tripping. Yeah. Like, I'm going to post them and they're going to eat. Um, and th- that, that photo did eat. Um. <laughs> Uh, but I think I had to edit it. So if you mm. see the shirt, it looks like just a black shirt or something. Like, I, I edited it somehow that I didn't say that. Yeah. Which, I don't know how I did it. Maybe in Facetune. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to. Mm. I'm not a Photoshop kind of girl. Like, honestly, if something. If someone held the gun to my head and was like, you need to Photoshop this, I'd be like, like no, please. I, I, I know people. I know people. <laughs> I know, people I, I know literally, it. like, I would rather die than Photoshop. But for some reason... I, I use Photoshop literally maybe twice a year where I actually yeah, have to use it for work. And I am subscribed all the way throughout the year. And it is same. $60 a month. Literally which is same. fucking crazy I have the and should be Adobe, illegal. Uh, package. Don't use this. Yeah, way. it should be illegal to charge that much for that shit. Because like 600 and what, $720 a year for something that I could have bought for fucking $12. Like, 
Y'all are psycho. Like, I know, it's psycho. insane. It's I'm in a pirate shit. I'm starting a pirate shit. Like, I'm going to see it off my computer. I know, we need to get back to that. Like, why? Yeah. We've come around the bend, and now we know we can steal from big conglomerates, so we yeah. have to start doing it digitally. Like, there needs to be more digital theft. Oh, that shirt that's like, you wouldn't download a car, would you? Like, yes, I literally would. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, if I could illegally download a fucking yeah, Bugatti, what? I would do it. What are we talking about? Oh, my about? God, I got a 3D printer. It's not here yet. But... And he's going da- yeah. to download a Bugatti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna download a Bugatti and 3D print it in my like micro printer nine inches at a time and put it over um, my car. Right, right. Um, but there, I, I know we knew, do media at the end of the um, episode, but I had to fucking talk about this show that I've been watching. Have you heard of Tiger King yet? <laughs> what is that? It's this dude, Joe Exotic. He's a gay, <laughs> like, cowboy that owns tigers. Wait, he's gay and he likes tigers? Yes, it's huh. really crazy. And he's just, like, Wait, such it? an that's eccentric... that's the show? He just likes tigers? He's such an eccentric character that that's all it really needs. And then there's, like, murders and shit. But, yeah, it's really amazing. And then um, Squid Why Game... Why could, like, the world not believe that? <laughs> I know, it was crazy. Like, the world... Well, I, we couldn't believe it. But it was also because it was a week into lockdown and we were like, ah! dude i want to go back to lockdown so fucking bad like literally take me back that was the best time of my fucking life it won't get sweeter than that me when i'm tired of the creator um i'm like take me back hey take me me back take 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 me back (laughs) um but yeah there's also squid game oh what's that about i actually couldn't tell you I actually, I really don't. Yeah, I don't know. know. I would explain that one. Yeah. So this guy, he gets taken into a car, right? And you're like, "Why is he in this car?" But then he's in a Mr. Beast video at the yeah. end. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, you know they Mr. made Beast? that off of Mr. Beast yeah, 100. Yeah, yeah. They game. made like a Mr. Beast, but like with murder. Oh wow. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Like, I hope he got his like checks for that. Yeah. Why did he remake that? Why did he late re- stage <laughs> capitalism? Like, like that's it is literally so way. funny. That like that got that. built up and then just fucking destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Like, it might actually still be that. up. It might be up. He what he should have done is turn it into a fucking museum. I was just gonna say he should have turned it into like a like a selfie museum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he, he's gotta he get us on, on the on team. Our, the yeah. fucking team. Yeah. Whoa. Oh my god! Wow, um, well, I'm Dune hungover. Two. By the way, I literally have a throbbing headache. Is that where you were looking for um, Advil this morning? Yeah, mm. I need a so bad. Mm. Oh, pal. and you drank wine last night. But Dune Two, I poster. never drink wine. But like, don't sit me in a room with other girls and some alcohol because a, to- a mass talking will happen. A mass talking. Were and the drinking. girly pops there from the other night? Uh, not everyone. One of them was, but not the one. Mm. Mm. okay so dune 2 yes which i don't know why they need another one uh because that show is our new star wars it's like it's like okay look at like one of the new farm style houses that are being built like the white ones with the black trim yeah and the like james very charles basic. yes the james charles houses and then look at a mid-century modern is that what house, house built looks like? in it looks the like that 70s i forgot what I was, what point I was making? What did you say? Oh, what <laughs> Dune? Dune is the mid-century modern from 1970s house, and Star Wars is like the fake farmhouse. Fake farmhouse, like that's, that's saying a the lot. equivalent. I know that's like what I'm saying is like it's just elite, better, big tall windows, like kind of like <laughs> that's it. Well, I don't know that I agree, and I haven't seen Dune, but I've been um, forced to watch a lot of Star Wars movies in my mm. life. And unless they also have a horny scene where a big slug captures a girl oh, in a bikini, then I don't know I if mean, Dune's winning. What's his fucking name? Uh, Oscar Isaac, naked as fuck. Wait, is he in Dune? Yes. And he's naked and hot. Like, oh! he's in it. He, Why didn't you tell me that? Like, now I, I have, have to, probably I'll told watch you it and skip around. Yeah, but it's kind of like tragic where. where he's naked, but it's like literally fucking lit. Oh, Timothee Chalamet. Do you see his wiener? No. They don't allow that. But you basically do. I mean, when they were filming... I mean, you basically did in, like, scenes from a marriage. Yeah, true. He was... Let's stop sexualizing people. I know. I need to stop. <laughs> like, anytime he gets brought up, if he get, it becomes really 
fucked up. Very real. Um, um, but I realized that I'm violently dehydrated. Um, and if you took me to a doctor, I haven't been drinking water. Like, I really haven't. And my skin is, like, dry and cracking and nasty. And, like, it's fucked up. But Well, it's also because it got back to being cold as fuck in L.A., which is so annoying. Mm. And um, very scary. Because I don't think it's supposed to feel like this in May here. No, it's like, really weird. at all. It's, it's like, insane. It's been the winter for, like two years in la i know it's imagine it was insane. like this literally forever i would literally bust a nut like that would be so <laughs> fucking lit. i think i would kill myself because i love this weather but i am like can the sun come out like the sun is the, out see, and i'm y'all feeling love the okay so much, but they i when hope they said, Here you comes the have sun. a really good yeah. day i want it to be hot so i can pop my shirt off just haven't really been able to do Maybe that. it would be good if the weather stayed like this. Yeah, I was about to say, it would be nice if Kai kept his shirt on. Or the weather stayed cold. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, also, I realized now my new fear is when I meet new people and then the I like the topic of jobs comes up and I'm like, oh, please don't talk to me. Please don't talk to me. <laughs> like, it's like Wait, everybody's why? like talking about what they do. And then I know oh. like it's going to be like in slow-mo when something embarrassing in a show t- happens and like they turn to me and they're like, what do you do for work? And it I'm like, freaks no, me the don't say that. Don't <laughs> I literally that. say I'm I, the I word. I literally try to like disappear. <laughs> like when I see people talking about work and I know like there's a chance that they turn to me, I'm like, I, I evacuate the room. No, I literally, if someone asks me, I literally say I, I'm the I word. Like, I'm I'm an influencer, unfortunately. But then I'm like, no, I'm fucking not. But, like, here I go saying I'm a podcaster. Like, I've been so- absolutely I, I not. say that. I'm like, I have a podcast with I'm my friend. I'm a YouTuber and podcaster. And I'm like, oh, I'm one of those people who has a podcast with my best friend. But and little that they, almost even worse. What they don't know is that we're one of the most successful podcasts in the world. They're assuming we're like. Oh, uh, what they do know is that that's not true. Oh, trust the analytics. <laughs> the analytics don't lie. Yeah, exactly. The um, analytics tell the truth. Did Whoa. all of our did we get an Amber alert? Oh, uh, it was a be real notification. Oh well, <laughs> mine was uh, PayPal taking money from thing. me for Uber Eats. Whoa! <laughs> also, that should be put into like a scientist room and studied. That one phone vibrated, and we all looked at ours immediately. Like, there's something. Well, very ours real. vibrated at the same time. That's why I thought it was mine. There's was something like... really scary about that. Really scary about that. Well, I think in ye olden times, if the phone rang, everybody ran to the phone. You fucking. (laughs) And I know you're mad and jealous of what I just did. I didn't get a green apple. Green apple's the best Jolly Rancher. They changed their formula. It's bullshit. That is crazy that you think green apple is the best flavor. Oh, yeah. But then when somebody asks me what I do for work and then I say that and then it's the next try to question is like, what's the name? Like, what's the name of your podcast? I'm like. You should have listened to it. And, and like, you don't have to listen to it. Because they're always like, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. I'm like, you don't. One, you don't have to say that. Never feel like you have to say that. Two, please don't. Thankfully, most of the people that ask me what I do um, are random people from Granbury, Texas that, like, I kind of don't give a fuck about. Um, so I'm just like, whatever. Whatever. I'm just always meeting new people because I'm so sociable. So it's like, ugh. Mm-hmm. It's like worst thing ever for me um okay well did that come up last night yeah uh, but, oh but i was it was funny because like it's usually okay when it's people around our age when it's older people that's when it's really hard because i'm like oh my god you're gonna think like i should be like working in the mines yeah. like or something yeah. well we um, do yearn for the mines <clears throat> but <in> minecraft <laughs> but they were like they're like around our age and But in my head, I was like, damn, we're having such a good conversation that, like, now I feel like she's going to listen to the podcast and be like, hmm, it's more fun talking to her in real life (laughs) than hearing this. Yeah. Which is probably true, because I'm just like, when I walk into a room, I fill it with joy and piss, Mm -hmm. (laughs) because I pee everywhere. Wait, what? Um, I do want to talk about, I'm so fucking stupid for having this Jolly Rancher in my mouth as I'm, like, literally speaking, but... I wanted to talk about my drug dealer um, <laughs> horror stories from when I lived back in Texas. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to talk about that, but I'm going to go shut my mouth real quick. <laughs> Whoa. I'm sure this is like a universal experience where their like local drug dealer is like 23, 25, and all of his clients are 16, 17 year olds, 18 year olds from like the high school the local high school um which is the number one horror story is like 
that environment is so scary. And I'd see like my homies that were the same age as me, just like chilling on the couch with this grown ass man. And it was really fucking eerie and scary, but I'm sure that's a universal experience. That's not exclusive With the drug to me. dealer being hella old. Yeah. And just being creepy with like younger girls. Yeah. Like, it's just that's whatever. like so classically like drug yeah. dealer vibe. It's insane. Um, but this is a story unique to me, I'm sure. And I cannot believe I haven't told this on the podcast, probably just to protect the like people, but no one knows who I was friends with at the time. Um, but we had recently switched drug dealers. We had recently gone from the one really close by my house to the one close to the high school, which is like 15 minutes away. And he lived in like an apartment complex, literally. So the apartment complex is here. The police station and pseudo courthouses here and then the high school is like right up the street so it was like really really crazy to be like selling drugs out of there actually it might have been a good facade but anyways um he was like dealing out of there and we went there and this was like the first time he invited me into his house and i did not want to go in there but like basically it was one of those situations where he was like holding the weed like Hostage. hostage and like making you hang out with him because he's so lonely um <laughs> well we got into the house and we're just chilling on the couch and it's me and two of my buddies that i'm not gonna mention by name um and we're just hanging out in there and like it is like nasty fucking vibes in there like a single couch with like nothing else in the room like there's a bedroom at the end of the hall and you can see through the door that well like, maybe he just the- believes in like Minimalism. not over consuming um, so you're just being judgmental i mean he had bread because he was like the only other drug dealer in our hometown and everybody needed to like put drugs in their system because like there's nothing to do there um but he um you could see through his bedroom and see like that his half of his mattress was showing and that he had like a pile of clothes next to the bed and like it was just really really bad vibes um and we're just like chilling there and then all of a sudden he brings out a pipe and we thought it was weed and then he went up to like my so i was really close with one of the dudes that i was with and then like by proxy was with the other kid and he went up to him thank god it wasn't fucking me and was like if you want your weed you're gonna have to smoke this and like prove to me that you're not a cop and we were like we're 15 16 years old we're not fucking cops like what are you talking about (laughs) and he went up and was like i'm literally 13 (laughs) yeah i'm literally a child and he was like you're gonna have to prove that you're not wearing a wire and like that like you're down with the shits or whatever and we were like oh well like okay it's just weed thank god it wasn't me well he like had the pipe and this was like one of those or so i thought was one of those pipes where it was like the bowl and you hold it like this with the carb right here and you hit yeah um i thought it was one of those until he started lighting the bottom of it and we were like i've never seen weed be lit like that i wonder if it's like like in my my thought process was like oh i wonder if it's like um like heating up the cannabinoids and like it's almost like vaporizing it instead of like smoking it and inhaling it and then i saw like a giant plume of smoke filled this like orb and i was like this is fucking crack like this is meth or crack or like i don't know what the fuck it is (laughs) and he made my homie literally smoke meth in front of me and like it was the craziest fucking vibe ever and like i didn't want to what happened to the kid like what he actually was like hella chill like a champ yeah he was he was he like bodied it like for being like bro this might be my new swag yeah no literally like it was it was really insane that's like so dark yeah but like he was fine we're all fine but literally i never went back to that house ever again and i never owned weed again because i was like fuck that i don't want to own this shit um, oh my god dude <laughs> literally <laughs> i just want to see if you're chill yeah like i want to make sure you're not doing cop. that to people when they come to the house and be like i just want to see if you're chill like <laughs> hit this pipe yeah. of crack hit this pipe of unannounced drugs um the just cocaine trust epidemic me. you don't trust me <laughs> my fucking god my friends don't trust me anymore that's what i'm gonna say <laughs> you're gonna guess like that i feel like just close your eyes i'm gonna be like oh, wait you should close your eyes because i'm gonna give you a surprise and then make them smoke meth did you eat chick-fil-a last night no i literally got it this morning because i woke up and i stood up and my fucking head like pounced from the back of my skull to the front and i was like i need food so that i'm not nauseous because i was really mm. nauseous and then i had like five chicken nuggets and i feel a little better a little a little better better. do you know what a gravity bong is yeah it's like went in the big jug and you like 
pull yeah. it out. Yeah. I Bitches are so desperate to get high. That's I know. Crazy. It's like that's when it's like okay, just do math. That's when I'm like, just do the fucking math, bro. Like you, you need you need something more because you're bro. literally like you're defying gravity for like a weed high right now. Like you're like sh- pushing it into your lungs at like a crazy rate. Like it's really really. Like dark. what? You just need to like. I did it once out of a fireball bottle. He had like Fireball. drilled into it. It was really <laughs> sick, actually. And that was playing. Yeah, I Our mean, table? it literally probably was playing. <laughs> like, unironically, it probably was. Dude, I can't imagine you doing that. Did you freak the fuck out? Yeah, I, I literally <laughs> laid on the couch like drooling, like <laughs> I'm good. <gasps> I'm like good. Like it was fucking crazy. That and then on awesome. the drive home, I had my head up against the window, and it was like we were coming from like a bumpy gravel road, and like I was like. Pfft, <laughs> you were literally sedated. Yeah, I couldn't like control my body and it was like bouncing off the I forgot to wear a hat. Y'all get to see my hair. We gotta just get you a helmet. No, we, what we gotta get is a haircut. Hey. I wanna throw up <laughs> you bounce. But <laughs> you in the back of the car like <laughs> so I was in the front seat, but like it was like <laughs> And I was like moaning, and he was like, "Oh, we're almost out. We're almost out of the gravel road. Like I promise, it's gonna be good." I was like, "Oh my fucking god!" Oh my god, I was just like choked on air. But yeah, that's my gravity bong story. I could tell you my dab story, the one and only time I did a dab. Dude, if I did a dab, I think I would fucking like <laughs> <laughs> I would have vaporized. I don't know how y'all do that shit. Like, <laughs> I know it's like so. Bitches are like, yeah, I'm gonna smoke this joint rolled in wax, rolled in uh, with a Keith. dab on top with Keith on it. I was saying, like, why don't we got into a conversation last night at dinner where one of our friends was like, um, if your friend was like on their deathbed and they dead serious looked at you and they were like, this is so crazy and you're gonna laugh at me, but I really want you guys to eat a piece of me before I get cremated or anything. And he was like, would you do it? Like, if one of your friends was like, oh, like... Fuck it, yeah. Like, if, like, your artist friend was like, oh, I've used my hands, like, all my life, and, like, they're so meaningful to me, like, because I made all this art, I would love if, like, a like each friend like had a piece of meat to eat from my hands or i something. literally eat the skin off my fingers and toes <laughs> and my toenails like i don't give a fuck like i will eat some and else. then i was saying i was like girl fuck all that why not just like roll my ashes like they're keef like put some uh, wax on a joint and then like roll oh, the yeah. joint in my ashes and then just smoke me i'd be down for someone to smoke me i would me. do that i don't think i would eat someone's you finger. would rather smoke someone than eat them because i feel like smoking them you is kind of gross that too i know but i'm like <laughs> disgusting so and i'm okay with I that i feel like that's ca- I well i to be to be clear i would do both i don't care really yeah i wouldn't eat a piece of someone to if me, it was like weird if it was like mixed into like spaghetti bolognese like it was like <laughs> a little piece of meat like mixed in and no, i didn't saying, know like, like i would literally I, do it. no i would like I'm like, I need a chef to like go crazy on it. Like it's not it's not like just fucking boiled Drew and I'm eating like <laughs> I think boiled I would unseasoned just be like, Drew. I need like a chef to come in here and like prepare it on a really big white plate and it's like the tiniest piece of food yeah. with like a little like garnish Imagine on it. it like, like sashimi style, like Hell no. You would taste like shit too. Oh uh-uh, no, I would taste you would good taste as fuck. Like what are you talking about? I would taste like Jolly butt Ranchers. Butt. You would have the reddest meat ever from all that red 40. Yeah, though. I would taste like Jolly Ranchers. Your meat would look like Wagyu steak because it'd be so red. Per, yeah, it literally <laughs> would. Yeah, you're right. A5. <laughs> no, but it would Imported taste like fucking from deer ankles. Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> it, it literally <laughs> tastes like fucking rabbit tail. Okay, like I know the whole joke is like, how can you get like 20 nuggets for $2 from Wendy's? I don't give a fuck because those are like the best nuggets on the market right now. And I will die on that hill. Like they're so yummers. Yeah, I agree. I'm like so over McDonald's. Mm. Like I just also watched a new video of how McDonald's chicken nuggets are made. And it's literally ground up fucking bones. It's literally bones ground up into a Well, pit. that's pretty good for you then. And yeah, the- isn't that like. Kind that's of, what like collagen is collagen is bones yeah that's why people are like oh drink bone broth because you'll get the nutrients of the bone and that's why vegans like don't drink bone shards yeah that's why collagens uh or vegans can't have like collagen because it's uh mainly like cow bones i knew that but like watching the video completely changed it for me because it's like little fucking chicken skulls and beaks like going <laughs> into a grater and coming out as this pink goop and it's like 
just how does mass, it get pink? Or macerated. Wait, that's kind of like a crazy full <clears throat> circle. You know how like Native Americans would like use the entire animal. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like it's geez. kind of lit. Like yeah. so now I think I'm back to McDonald's. Yeah, maybe it's, fun. McDonald's it's funny how that goes. Right Y'all just do everything against me. Y'all, oh, you, you know you are. You need to finish fucking <laughs> eating that. Y'all. <laughs> We're going to get demonetized. You're a devil's advocate kind of guy. I am. Wait, why am I a devil's advocate? Is that a song? Devil's advocate? It's what? Oh, I know, <laughs> I know. But, dude, that was crazy. But, no, I think that's a song. Yeah, it is. Y'all remember Zunes? Zoom? Zune, Z U N E. Oh, the Microsoft. Like, imagine iPod. asking for an iPod for Christmas and you got a fucking Zune. Oh, Let me see what this that is. Would suck balls. I wanted one, though, because I wanted to be different so fucking bad. It was terrible. Even as a child, I wanted to be different from everybody else, and I would make sacrifices in technology to be different. Like, I would be like, oh, I don't want an iPod. Like, I want a Zune, or I don't want an iPhone. I want an Android. Like, something is seriously wrong with me. Like, it's crazy. I've I've never seen this before. Really? A Zune? Yeah. Have you seen the Teenage Engineering CM15? Oh, yeah. We were going to buy them. Maybe I did see these. That thing looks sick. It kind of reminded me of a Zune. The mic? Yeah, this thing. Yeah, we were going to buy them for the podcast. But they're so expensive. But yeah, here I go. They kind of reminded me of a Zune a little bit. Why Mm, do they put... I know that was on mine too, and it scratched the fuck out of me last like, night. Like this has like a bar thing in it. Like, is this so that like I don't steal it from a store? Like, I don't understand. I don't get it either. Yeah, I'm wearing the Jenny X Calvin Klein before it's out. Like, it's yeah. just chill kind of vibes. Over yeah, here. and I slept in it last night. This episode of Emergency Intercom is brought to you by Zocdoc. Okay, so I'm like pretty convinced that I am pre-diabetic, and I think my arms and feet are gonna fall off soon because of the sheer amount of processed food that I shove into my gourd. Um, And I was scrolling on TikTok one day and someone was explaining the symptoms of prediabetes and I was like, oh, uh, that's 100% me. And then I realized that uh, TikTok is an awful place to get medical advice. Maybe the worst place to get medical advice. And there are way better ways to get the answers you want from people that care about you and that are trusted professionals uh, and not just random people on the internet. ZocDoc helps you find expert doctors and medical professionals that specialize in the care you need and deliver the type of experience you want. When you're not feeling your best and you're just trying to hold it together, finding a great doctor shouldn't take up all your energy. That's where ZocDoc comes in. Using the free app that millions of users rely on, ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. You can find the right doctor that meets your needs and fits your schedule. Book an appointment with a few taps in their app and start feeling better with ZocDoc. Go to ZocDoc.com slash intercom and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book top-rated doctors today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash intercom. ZocDoc.com slash intercom. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an app that's here to help you be paired up with a licensed professional so that Guiding yourself through your life is easier because you have someone by your side to help you get through it. I know we all hear me talking about The Sopranos, and even Tony Soprano has a therapist. So what makes you think you're so tough to get through life without a therapist? It's not something to be embarrassed about. I feel like there is this idea that having a therapist makes you weak, but in my opinion, it makes you even stronger because it's a really tough thing to have to sit down with yourself and analyze and become self-aware. So getting a professional just makes it easier. And I think you should be able to do that. It's so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you and never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. I am the caretaker. Some may say I am the mommy of my friend group and it can get really hard when I'm so busy being mommy for everyone who's gonna be mommy for me. I have to have that space for myself. And that's why I love my therapist because some would say that she is my mommy, but in in like not a weird way. 
If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online and designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash intercom today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash intercom. Do you got any baby names? No, I don't. Like, I might name my kids, like, after, like, dead people. I know. Hmm. You know, keep them going. Yeah, that makes sense. Even though that's not what that does for your soul and it doesn't cure you, but I'll do it. <laughs> I'm going to name my kid Trauma. <laughs> I'm going to name my kid word. Bond. So Trauma Bond. Oh, and they'll be friends. Oh, wow. My cousin. But we have to give them trauma so that they actually bond over trauma. So yeah. it's like, it's it's a funny story, actually. Like, our names <laughs> my... are Trauma and Bond, and we, like, bonded over trauma. My cousin's... <laughs> Um, what? <laughs> no, and I myself. Just... <laughs> no. I don't know why I said that. True immediately. <laughs> <laughs> well, my cousin's um, children, he has two boys, I think three now. Um, he's obsessed with the Texas Rangers, specifically Nolan Ryan, and he named his children Nolan and Ryan. Damn. I'm going to name my kids Michael and Jackson. Oh. Oh, no, Billy and Jean. Yeah. Also, I, I think I've said this already, but I gave them Billy and Jean. Yeah. That's all me. That yeah. is literally all me, and I, I won't let them have that. Josiah and Lucas call themselves Billy and Jean because one time they were on set with me for that stupid-ass brat show I was on, and I told the director, I was like, yeah, these are my friends Billy and Jean. And I also made Billy and Jean, we, we are not, not your lovers. Your lovers. So I own a percentage of that podcast, whether they know it or not. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, also, um, I can't say that. You're awesome. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> well, well, let me look at my notes because I have two really awesome notes, guys. Don't even worry. Oh, I got a good one. Um, so I've been using TikTok so there, there's this like idea like kale phone, cocaine phone. I'm sure you've literally heard of it. Um, I've been like going I've down cocaine phone route. It's like weird stock bro crypto side oh, of the man. internet bullshit. Um, but it's basically the idea that like kale phone um, is like don't use your phone at all. Cocaine phone is like it's the most powerful tool humans have ever had access to. Why would you not use it to the fullest ability? Get two fucking phones. Like that's the idea. Um, and I've been like cocaine phoning and I unintentionally because I'm addicted to it and it's really bad and embarrassing. Um, but I've been going like down the craziest TikTok rabbit holes and I found this thing called TikTok battles. I'm sure you've seen them oh, before. Oh, the live streams? Do you know what it is? It's basically you go live, like say you went live and I went live. We could do what's called a battle together. And basically all it is is your fans giving you money and me money and whoever gets the most money by the end of like the two and two minute 30 second timer wins and moves on to the next and like there are people making like sixteen thousand dollars a week doing these tiktok live stream battles like it's really the most insane dystopian shit i've ever fucking heard of in my entire life that is so unreal like we should do it i know like should we try it yeah, we should just do it. What and do take they money. do to get the money though? Do they, they just like, they just stand beg. there? They, they literally, literally... Beg. they're like, "Come on, guys! Like, we need to beat them! Like, we need to beat them! Come on! We're like, do it's close. We're it's so it's close." Kids who like give the money, like it has to be like really young people who just have like a card attached to the account or something. I don't know, but the FTC is gonna sue the fuck out of TikTok if so, just like Fortnite got taken down. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of people who have people who are sitting there buying shit for them on live is it's usually children, I think. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe they're adults. Know. Maybe it's like the how there's know. like Twitch viewers who are down to like donate. But that makes more sense because most of the time it's like either like a live kind of podcast style thing and then like a gamer or something but like yeah. for to literally be like come on guys please 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 guys i gotta be like it please. Like, it's crazy it's so insane also tiktok implemented <laughs> like drop shipping onto their platform now so basically like say i like had this water bottle and like i had like a drop shipping palette somewhere i could like open up a shop on my tiktok page where tiktok takes like 15 percent to like do it and like 
it's basically a storefront on your TikTok page, but you never have to really own the product because like you can just ship it straight from China and like the warehouse it was created in. Like it's Dude, really so insane. Really that crazy. app is like actually fucking maniacal. It's going now. downhill. Like it's it's really really crazy. I mean, it's been going downhill for the last fucking four years since its genesis. But like I fucking hate the direction it's going and it's just like when um uh instagram implemented marketplace everyone was like what the fuck is this but they have to make money somehow like i know i will say now like people fully use it like there's mm-hmm. so many accounts that i follow for my dad who uses use it. it yeah i've never bought anything from the instagram like marketplace because that's insane and i'm not crazy like your dad <laughs> but I will say I do look. <laughs> it's actually hilarious. <laughs> like he ordered like what he like you know those like inflatable giant sharks that like you can control with like a remote control and they like yeah. float around. He thought he was ordering that because that's what was advertised, but it was like twelve dollars. No, it was twenty five ninety nine. And when he got it, all he got was like a bubble mailer this big and a plastic toy shark was inside. And he got scammed so fucking hard. And by the time he went to dispute it, like he couldn't find the listing anymore. Um, Dude, that is so insane for that to be happening off of Instagram.com. That sounds like a like two thousand one eBay problem. Mm-hmm. Like it's like Look at this big thing for like three dollars. Yeah. We've talked about this though. How scary it used to be buying shit online, where it's like, I yeah, they're probably what shipping I just a bomb to me right now. <laughs> like, um. Well, I decided my only gripe with uh like gender neutral bathrooms is that most restaurants aren't actually making like nice gender neutral bathrooms. What they're doing is just ripping off their old sign and putting on the gender neutral sign onto a bathroom that smells of fucking 18 years of urinal piss and i don't want to be in there anytime i am in a fucking bathroom or in a restaurant and i see the gender neutral signs i will literally open each one to see which one has the urinal urinal in it because i refuse to sit across from that thing like it is so nasty there's piss all over the floor it fucking stinks like (laughs) you don't flush the piss so it's just sitting there until it like slowly drains like i like don't understand urinals i think they were so poorly engineered because you're literally getting pissed all over your pants like every man you know has pissed all over his pants like there's no way it's not splashing back all over your jeans that's what urinal cakes are for what do they do zoom and they stop the splash back it's supposed to like absorb it i don't think it does a good job because every time i go into a bathroom the wall the floor looks like they did like a half there's matte, one... half like glossy like speckle decoration <laughs> yeah. on the floor There's because one... in certain lights you see all the piss bad seed that will piss on the floor and ruin it for everybody else Drew doesn't get any piss because he'll stick his dick into the hole oh the yeah. that is a good idea he'll put his dick all the way down the yeah drain. i mean it drains better yeah plus it feels good <laughs> and it's super considerate <laughs> there's like mold and shit in there yeah oh, okay mm. feels good well that was my Ramp because I hate being in stinky bathrooms that are just like the bathroom that boys are still using. Like men are just gross and yeah. urinals are nasty and they stink. I have to agree. Men's bathrooms are fucking vile. They're fucking insane. Like the sign you hit the. That's what it smells like walking past the men's bathroom at the airport. Like that's what it smells like. What the fuck was I going to say? Oh, also. It's crazy what hot people get away with. Like I, I know, dude. I can get away with so fucking much. Like my whole life, like I do bad shit, and people are just okay with it because, like, I have pretty privilege. Oh, I don't think that happens to you. It's really, it's really hard for me. No, because you don't even do much. So, like, you definitely don't like. You're not like using no, hot people privilege. Bad shit. No, hot people privilege <laughs> is like there was this girl who's like really gorgeous, like sexy hot, and then she posted a video just her straight to camera, like raw style. Peace to cam. Um, like yeah, it was her piece to cam, and she's just singing her ass off, and like she's not a singer, she's just like a really gorgeous girl. And it genuinely shocked me so much because I've never seen her talk, let alone like start belting her ass off to camera on Instagram.com. And it was obviously a video that she recorded outside of stories. And then later on went back and looked and she's like, I got to post this. Like, it's too good. (laughs) But she only got away with it because she's so sexy. Like singing is like so embarrassing. (laughs) Like (laughs) Like, it really is. Like, why is it humiliating people who could like, 
kind of sing who are just like really about it it's like no you shouldn't do that but if i got on instagram stories right now and with my whole chest started singing my life away people would genuinely make fun of me till the day i die you would get bodied like no one would ever 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 like if i wanted to go into singing i would have to like learn how to play guitar and like be in a dingy room and record it on a film on like a like a film camera or a tape recorder and have it like be this like artistic like body of work <laughs> for people to be like okay i kind of get it like i kind of see where she's going but if i just got up in this outfit right now put my phone up and started singing like people would be like what the fuck is happening with her like yeah. she, and people Something would think it was up. a joke like yeah. what if you found out like a year of me working with you guys on this that i had a tiktok account where i would like sing it wasn't me by shaggy with like I would fire early. you. Yeah, I would okay. fire you. I'd say we have to let we have to let you go. There. We're, we <laughs> we just found don't something see eye to eye. really disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> so we we've discovered a part eye. of you that I don't think you ever wanted us to see. <laughs> uh, if it was like a different song, it would be the best day of my life. Like if it was like an Adele song or something that you really <laughs> liked from like her first album and you were singing yeah. it all the time, I would literally have a joy ride with that. Like, I would be like, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I would show it <laughs> off at parties like it was a trick. I'd be like, do y'all want to see something crazy? Yeah. Um, and then I would Just fire you. really earnestly belting it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Well, what if you guys found out that I was singing? <laughs> Whoa. What? Um, so what, what would you be singing in the hypothetical? I don't know, just like Ed Sheeran. Mm. Wait, what the okay, fuck is that lyric? Okay, he's A team though. Wait, hold on. What is they that lyric? Say, um, that A-team. he in love with my body. Call him Ed Sheeran. He in love with my body. What the fuck does that mean? Well, because I think he says he has this song. Uh, I'm in love with the shape of you. Yeah. Oh, I've been trying I'm so hard oh, to oh, figure oh, oh, that out. Dude, okay. if I hear, if I go into a bar and that song is playing, I know it's going to be the worst fucking 30 minutes of my life. I'm in love with the shape of you. Or like like that playing in like a kind of deserted mall is so crazy. Eerie, like yeah. It is a creepy ass vibe. Like It's a dangerous vibe. Really. That's a song that has played in one too many bands on this planet. Like Also, I know everything is fake because um, how hyperinflated ed sheeran and uh selena gomez spotify numbers are nothing is real it's all bots like i haven't heard someone play a ed sheeran song once in my life other than inside of a mall and that does not account for 57 trillion fucking listens How, like, does he have like the most listeners like who has the most listeners on probably spotify? the weekend right now I'd say the weekend Ed Sheeran, Justin Bieber is always top contending in Selena. Dude, Ed Sheeran. There's a bunch of Latin artists too that have like. Oh yeah, J Balvin. Oh, Bad yeah. Bunny's Bad Bunny. up there now. So yeah, it's like Ed Sheeran, Drake, The Weeknd, Taylor Swift, Bad Bunny, Justin Bieber, BTS. Bruh, how are people still listening to Justin Bieber like that? Like, what are you? Is he making music still? Like, does he make? That's music what I'm still? saying. It's all fake. Bruh, I play Yummy every day. Girl, you got that yummy, yum, yum. that yummy, yum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Journals is such a good album, man. Journals is such a good album. <laughs> Roller coaster, Roller coaster. Also, Baby is genuinely that? a masterpiece of a song. Like, I think we've grown enough as, like, a culture to, like... <laughs> Um, realize. It's awesome as the mics didn't pick that up, so it looked like so. you just glitched. <laughs> like, Baby is a great song. Like, it really yeah. is actually a good song. I'll never forget when I showed my friends in fifth grade Justin Bieber on YouTube, and it was before he was, like, a thing. And I was like, yeah, like... This is my boyfriend. This is, like, a guy I've been looking at. Like, he was like, I got my eye on him. And then my I friends, my like, two years later... You. Or maybe like a year later, once like Baby and Everything really came out and he was like huge, all my friends were talking about him and we got into a serious argument where I was like, that is my artist. Like, <laughs> I, that's mine. Like, last year when I showed it to you, you didn't give a fuck and now you give you, a fuck because he's on the radio. Roller coaster, roller coaster. Uh, it's so random. I, I'll like kind of go back and watch that video probably like once every Baby? Every year. I don't I know why, seen but it. Wait, just Baby, to watch like, like him playing the video game. What? What? When you or mean when he's at the bowling alley? Which one's baby? I don't know if I recall. It's he's like at the bowling alley yeah, with and, Usher. And Drake? No, Drake's there. Drake's in that? Drake's in the baby music Wait, video. what's happening? Because now I'm freaking out. I literally cannot believe this right now. When now it's 13. Pull that up because I'm so confused. He's just like love. dapping people up. And he's I hanging thought... out with like 12 year olds. 
Damn, dude, this shit's too fucking lit. It's like Where is this? Is this in LA? Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. My god, this shit's so lit. Yeah, it's in LA. Dude, he was too lit. Like, what a time. <laughs> it's like a ska song now. <laughs> it's so well, I just I just sped it up because I want to finish watching it so we can finish the episode. The clothes they had him in were really crazy. Dude, oh, I was he here? I wanted to be his girlfriend so bad <laughs> like i literally was like i need him <laughs> he maybe was like 13 here or 14 what's or I don't crazy know. i actually don't know his age like and justin bieber has never I had an age 28 what's crazy so is he might have been like 16 i got Whoa. my first kiss at the justin bieber documentary like movie i saw it in theaters one and then two um i was secretly obsessed with justin bieber but, like, obviously you couldn't do that, especially in Texas. So I was, like, such a fucking hater of his online. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would also go on Facebook and lie and say I won, like, two tickets and that I'm selling them um, to, like, his concert in Dallas. Like, if anybody wants to buy them, I'm selling them for 500 bucks each to their front row. And everyone would hit me up. Fun so fact. you were a scammer? I never took money from anybody. No. Oh. But just it was for just attention. Fun. Yeah. It was just fun to lie. I lied so much on Facebook. Like, I would, like, say, like, my brother is, like, severely sick. Like, he's, like, this is his face. And it was, like, a face of, like, a mutilated person from, like, oh like, a, like a, the, one of the meme photos that would g go around. Yeah. Like, the one that I posted on my story where it's, like, selfie. That's like, awesome. Like, a week ago. Yeah. Sorry. Now I'm down a really crazy Justin Bieber rabbit hole and I'm watching the beauty in a beat. Oh, that one's um, good. That's the yeah, second that music best video, one. I wanted to be at this party so bad. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I need to get in that pool. <laughs> I need to get in that pool and get really self-conscious because I think Justin Bieber's going to look at me and now I have bodily perception of myself and yeah. I'm scared. Like, I needed to be in this pool. Like, what? Everybody here is so lucky. Was this, like, post-X? Because this video feels super, like everybody saw X, x and they were like yeah mm. right, and everybody saw project x and they were like what if we did a music video where there was a huge party it probably was it was the biggest party in the world <laughs> at our house i never saw project x mm. never seen that movie i feel You're like it was really out. mid i feel like it was it's one of those movies mid. i had to have seen like when it yeah. came out because now it's like this is the worst movie ever that's how i felt about watching hackers like <laughs> hackers the vibes are there but that is the one of the worst movies ever. Just that movie villain. sucks. The like, only one that holds up is super bad. That yeah. one is as good. No, super bad is better. like literally one of the best. This is yeah. like, the end. Comedies. This is the end is pretty good, but I I, I feel like super bad out of all of those. I'll watch it and I'm like, this is maybe even funnier. Than yeah, because also Super Bad is like shot really nicely too. Like it like looks good. It's really and like the opening done, like yeah. yeah, it has like a lot of artistic spots. I'm not arguing against so I'm just saying off show. Oh yeah, I know. This is I the mean, end is pretty fire. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it in a I started it and then I like turned it off because I was started it right after I watched Super Bad and it was like late. I was Michael Sarah's character in that is so fucking I know. Funny. The I mean the beginning fifteen minutes of that movie is literally so fucking awesome. Didn't they like, like all hate each other on set or something? Like Michael Sarah and like Jonah Hill or for McLovin, yeah, someone they had like beef on set. It was like actually, I just got told this other day. Um, I think everyone hated Jonah Hill. It actually. was like no, it was like M Jonah didn't want to film with Michael because I think Jonah Hill wanted Michael Sarah's role or something. But then they found Michael and they gave Jonah the role he ended up playing, mm -hmm. and he was really pissed because he was like, "Dude, I don't want to be this character." He wanted to play Michael Sarah's character. Uh, he also, didn't want to play his character. What's crazy is how Jonah Hill was casted for that movie. It was like Seth mm -hmm. was at like a movie or a screening for one of his like movies that just came out, and Jonah was sitting right behind him. And Seth at the time was developing Super Bad and was like, "This kid is perfect for." this role wait no no that's for 40 old virgin sorry got <laughs> yeah that completely i was like mixed up. what yeah that's for 40 old virgin he was like oh wait why don't you just be the kid the yeah, ebay guy jonah hills he has such a funny role in 40 year old virgin i haven't mm -hmm. seen that in a really long time i need to rewatch it i actually don't know if i've 
finish that movie ever. That was always one of those movies I like saw. It was like on TV, so I would like always start it and just like never. That movie is so well written. That's a classic. Certified classic. I love Steve. Dude, also just like comedy back then was like, it was like the perfect level of like, okay, like we're being like a little like. We're being a little facetious. Yeah, we're testing the waters. Like we're saying things. That's also not the right way to use it, but whatever. I'll let it slide. Is that not? (laughs) Um, Facetious is like lying. Mm. Um, But uh, basically, yeah, it was just like the perfect level of like being like problematic and also like being wholesome and aware. Yeah, and being aware. And then like shortly after that, it spiraled out of control and like it was (laughs) fucking crazy. And now like I feel like we're finally starting to get back into it. Like I'm sure in the next like two or three years, like comedy will be funny again but we'll yeah. save comedy i think we yeah have yeah to. we, like, have, I think to we have to save comedy we must save comedy you just can't say shit anymore like yeah like i want to be able to be like <laughs> crap <laughs> fuck here <laughs> fuck Ew. um all right so media of the week yep somehow we were trying to do a 45 minute episode today but we somehow um pushed over pushed over so you're welcome yeah we're going to 45 now so everybody be upset and sad and like cry about it because i don't care i don't give a fuck i read a really good book but i'm not gonna say it out loud because <laughs> i'm gonna gatekeep the book yeah for media i'm just like i listen to a lot of good music and watch a lot of good but shows on tv tell but you. i'm not telling you so that's my media for really. um my media is boutique joy by yasuka shimizu i'm probably saying that really wrong i just want to talk to you let me talk to you charles brown sleepy creek that song is so fucking good you make me weak at the knees electric Electra Lane and Alone Again by Gilbert O'Sullivan. Gilbert Arenas. Um, I was listening to my Discover Weekly and you cannot fucking trick me. Don't make old sounding music, bitch, because I know when that shit's new. I can fucking hear it in your stupid whiny voice. And somebody had a song that was supposed to sound old, but it sounded like the beginning of Alone Again. So I was like, when I first started listening to it, I was like, I was like, I don't think this person would have sampled this so soon after this song came out. So it sounds like we've got a little faker on our hands. And lo and behold, I saw that cover and I was like, you can't trick me. You can't trick me with your fake old looking cover. I hate that shit. When the people are making like old sounding music and then also the cover is very like, we made this out of cardboard Mm. and ink (laughs) with our hands. (laughs) This is actually a vinyl sleeve just (laughs) printed and scanned. We just scanned a vinyl sleeve. It's real. Mm. Um, And yeah, and then I blocked the artist on Spotify. (laughs) Um, Well, I've been tapping back into uh, Death Grips because I'm getting ready for their concerts in LA and I need to go. And if I don't go, I'll die. Um, Yeah, you won't die, you know. Birds by death grips black dice by death grips are really good songs that i've liked recently um and then there's this band called black dice and i am only assuming they're inspired by death grips because their music is like noise music and like really annoying and bad but broken ear record is really fucking good um by them but it's just like sound music and if you like that type of shit they make good noise music but like if you don't you won't get it and it will be like a hell for you um and then <laughs> this welcome to your nightmare fuck what did, i've watched like so much shit recently oh i've been watching uh that show working moms i didn't know there were thirty six thousand seasons out and like <laughs> i, I realized the face and i know it was really bad <laughs> We'll, we'll find it um but we'll, we'll look oh for my God, it i like actually shocked myself <laughs> yeah. like i felt the way my tongue hung out of out of my mouth just now oh, why are like, you crying? i've never felt that in my life okay sorry keep going um, you were watching but, working moms yeah it's like the acting is terrible and the casting is awful for most everybody except for Anne and the um main girl um but that show is just like a guilty pleasure and I like like watching it. It's on Netflix. Um, and then Demon Slayer Season 3 came out and literally no one fucking told me. I'm so confused because that wasn't there when I finished watching Season 2, which was like two months ago. And then now it's there. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. But whatever. Um, um, well, I'm finally in Season 5 of The Sopranos. The Sopranos. I always say Sopranos, but I think you're supposed to say The Sopranos. Whatever the fuck that means. Like, let me pronounce it how I want, bitch. 
the fuck? Golden hours. Um, Why do I have to pronounce Brian things Inu. right? I should just be able to say things how I want. Whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sleepy time, Raymond Scott. Um, and be my baby, the Ronettes. <laughs> be my, be my and baby. And be my little baby. My one and only baby. Be my little darling. Be my baby, be my baby now. now. Um, I'm pretty sure that was that the song, song that's cut. but let me see the cover of Be My Baby, because maybe I'm thinking of something else. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's Be My Baby, but they really didn't want that song. There's like a crazy story behind it. Like, they really didn't want to do that song. It, and yeah. I don't think it's Be My Baby. Is it not? No, There's... but it's another... Vi- that is era. it by the Ronettes? Or it might not be the Ronettes. I can't remember who it is, but it's like... What from that era of music? There was like a band who it really didn't be want be the sen- song. Oh, dude, it's the worst day ever. Cause like, we may never know. I guess you never know. Also, the the movie um fuck what's it called? Walk the Line is really good. Um, The Walking Phoenix. Mm. Yeah, the walking phoenix. Um, but that was this episode of Emergency Intercom. <sighs> I wish I knew. Um, I hope I think you it was the Ronettes. enjoyed. Uh, and I hope you find love. Um, we found love. In a hellscape. Uh, All right. Peace, Thank love, you guys so much for listening. Respect. Emergency.